Hey guys. Okay, uh, I'm just double checking to make sure that my mic is working. Uh, when I'm on my Mac, sometimes it's harder to tell. Um, hi Goose. Hi Momo. Hey Lone. Hi Adore. And David. And Lucas. And WL. It's Ken. TD. Ghost. Uh, Matthias. Gamer. Ratchet. It went from 15 viewers to 54 so fast. That's just because, you know, YouTube is kind of uh, delayed. Still kind of tired, so I'm busy like waking up. <laughs> I haven't played any games yet. Um, what is my dream hanger? I don't even know if I really have one. I, I tend to like switch back and forth. Um, I like I have two seraphs right now, but I was running two seraphs, um, two Capri and a and a Mars. But then I put a Behemoth in. I have a Ravana now. I tend to be all over the place. Punches can kill Angular really fast. Yeah, usually when the ability is uh, over with the Angler, it can die really quickly. Okay, so we're going to be opening up some special delivery uh, crates today. I actually have uh, quite a lot of coins, which I haven't actually opened up yet. I think it shows it here, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be doing this um, and then also some gameplay of the Seraph with the uh, Shield Breaker. At one point I was running the Seraph with the Shield Breaker, but then I switched to Advanced Repair. Um, so I like my Ceres do have shield breaker now We need uh, <laughs> a door saying we need an Orion with the Adrian special with you sound effect Oh speaking about that. I think I do actually have the Orion I was messing around with this last night <laughs> I forgot to use this. Well, actually I was using the sound effects. I was running with my my clan Um if I could use one weapon on every bot right now. Uh, well, I mean, we have heavy, we've got mediums, and we've got lights here. So, <laughs> um, I think um, probably like punches or something. Okay, so anyways, uh, hold on. Okay. That, actually, wait, this reset. Hmm. I had quite a few keys there and I think I forgot to uh, check the uh, black market and the season reset so it just opened all of it up for me. Okay so we're going to be opening up um, these chests here and I'm going to kind of uh, do some gameplay as well. Maybe we'll spread it out, we'll do some We'll do some openings and then we'll play a game and then do like the next chest, play a game and then we'll do things that way. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, honestly, I don't really need anything because a lot of the stuff that I got is actually from the creator program. So um, there's not really anything I need here. Uh, maybe power cells and gold would be nice. I guess if I got another unknown Seraph, I'll just max that out too. So I have three. <laughs> but it's kind of uh, yeah, it's kind of boring running the same same bot. Ice storm. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do singles up to like uh, 7,000 and then I'll open up the tin. Oh, I need to get the coins. Nope. I remember last time when I opened up um, in the last event this chest was the worst all you got were components although it depends what the components are like these weapons are actually pretty deadly for range hazard
Siren executes Mars in seconds. It depends what the Siren is running to. Boring, uh, might be boring, but yeah, when you play against top clans, all they do is spam Seraphs on you, so. Now it is. This is why I say the, the actual pay to win that a lot of players refer to, you tend to see it in those clan battles, which in all honesty, most players will not even ever see. That's like the one or two percent of the games that you, yeah, you know, you play at the high level. Open 10 at once. I'll be doing that. Um, I'm just doing this to the 7,000 and then we'll do the 10. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Let's do the 10. Whew, that's a lot of components here. Oh man, that's a lot of components. That's all I want. Jeez. Stunning to think, this is even worse than the BR account one that I- Oh wait, I think we got a Trixie there. Yep, we got a Trixie. Hi Stein. This actually had a few big prizes. Okay, so we got a Decay, or at least 5,000 of Decay. I think the 500 components, they should make it like a thousand or something. 500 seems kind of low. Hi, Batoa. Okay, so we've got some power cells, gold, that's good. I wonder if I'm gonna get the silver coins. I think I saw two of them there. Did we get it? No, we didn't. <laughs> we got the gold instead. Why do hackers hack in the test server? Um, probably because they have no skill. Those are probably the ones that say, well, if I had a max start hanger, I could do well too, but then they hack in the test server where everyone has the same level stuff. <laughs> oh, we got a Seraph here. Nice. Unknown Seraph. Okay. Oh. Eldridge Blight. Okay, so this is what we have. You know what I should do is maybe we should do the silver chest as well and then I'll do some gameplay and then we can move on to the uh, uh, the gold or the what do they call it the legendary this one here we haven't opened up these yet uh, should I do the silver one or do you guys want to see some gameplay the silver box is the best because of the yeah I remember when I did the last event, the silver one seemed to do really well. A lot of gold. So, uh, you guys, what what should I do? Should we get do some gameplay, or do you want to see me open up the silver, the silver chest? You got a decay from it. Decay is pretty good. If you can get a decay and you like use it on, I guess if you have a serif. Or even a hawk. Someone saying gameplay. I see some that say gameplay. Some are going to say silver. <laughs> We're gonna get. Maybe I should do like a, a poll thing where you get to vote. Nope, nope, nope. Silver. It's looking like silver. Okay, we'll go ahead. We'll do the silver. Everyone's saying the silver. Okay, so we'll go down to about, what should we do, like 8,000 and then I'll open up the 10. Ooh. 5,000 power cells, nice. Uh, 
Uh, power cells again? Whoa, man. Jeez, it's raining power cells. Yes. Power cells is good. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny is when we got the uh, the Mars from the, the creator program, I think they gave us the paint job for it too. But I, I didn't even know that there was a paint job. So I was running around with like the regular without the paint job. And then one day I was like doing a video. I was like, wait a minute. This thing is saying there's a paint job. And I was like, oh yeah, there's a paint job in the uh, special delivery. Silver gameplay. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to see um, quite a bit of gold here. Hmm. I don't... Oh, let me guess. Gold? No. I thought I was going to get gold. Maybe this one. Gold? Yep, there we go. We got the gold. Yeah, I remember the middle one was giving a lot of gold. The last event. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the 10 now. I'm guessing we're gonna see some gold here. Am I right? Yep. It's kind of the same drop rate as the last event. This one will have gold too, right? Oh, wait. That's a lot of paint jobs. I don't know. Components. No, we didn't even get those paint jobs. Wow. Okay. Just components. Can't get the Victoria B pilot. Wait, is it in this one? I guess it's in this one. <laughs> After you said that. <laughs> this one. Boom. Victoria. Uh, this is uh, this is my account or is it the battle recording account? This is my account. Whoa, look at the gold. It's raining. Oh my gosh. Holy jeez. Four gold? I mean, I'm not really complaining. That's really good. <laughs> and the power cells. You know what they should do is they should have one where you can pick whether you want to win like resources. One where you, you want to win like weapons. And then one where like pilots. They should, they, they should separate that. Then you can. And I got a fainter from that too. Oh man, talk about that was a really good pull that. Oh my god, that, that's a lot of paint jobs. Eh? Let me guess, I'm gonna get all paint jobs now? Let's see. No, I didn't even get that. Hi, Great Dane. Oh, we got another fainter. Wait, how many fainters did I get? I actually kind of need more fainters. Hmm, paint job? No? You know what? You know, honestly, I was kind of expecting to get a lot of the paint jobs. So I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I don't know about the gold. You know what? I feel like this, this event, I feel like I actually got less gold than the previous one. Um, we did get that one pull where we got four, four of the gold, but it almost felt like it was less. Okay, let's do this. Man, that's a lot of syrup and components. <laughs> Look at the gold. Yes, it's raining gold. Yeah, I think I think the drop rate for the gold seemed worse this one, I think. Okay, wait, let me just go back here. 
Okay, well, we got zero. Oh, man. Look how many components I have for those weapons. Jeez. Okay, so I have 23. So two more fainters. And I think I won. Funny thing is, I was actually trying to get more of those. But, um... So I guess that's kind of good. Because I have two more. And I think I won more here. Somewhere. Okay, so I have four. Yeah, I don't need to win any more of those. Now I have enough. Gold and power cells coming in this event. Yeah, but I don't mind that because it's resources, so it's okay. Um, so anyways, we're going to be taking a look at my hangar here. Then we're going to be jumping into some games. And uh, we'll be doing the, the bigger crate uh, later on. That Mars uh, paint job is a mirage. Okay, so we have the Kepri here with Kajos. We've got the Mars with the uh, Fainter. Um, both of my Seraphs have the Shield Breaker on. So we are going to be running the those. I have the Victoria Pilot. Um, this one here. I think the skills are the same, right? I think they might be the same. Um, and then we have my Ravana. I was actually thinking of running the Mercury, but I would have had to set that up. Hi Roger, thanks for your donation. Morning Adrian. Hi everyone, except <laughs> except Lone. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Okay, so I have my Ravana here. Um, okay, so for both my Seraphs, I have the beat. Um, I know some will say why am I using the onload durability defense. I did actually try the on half durability, but I find I die a lot more with that. I think it's because when you look at this, it only um, the duration is 10 seconds. Um, and I understand that you could lose weapons if you use a low one, but you gotta remember too that if I'm charged up also, uh, the Seraph's ability hits multiple players. The built-in weapon so really even if i did lose a weapon it's not too bad um, and the thing with the low the on low durability chip this one here actually the effect duration is 20 seconds so it's double that of the other one you don't have as much um resistance but it does last a bit longer and i seem it seems almost like it helps a bit more um <laughs> the drop rate on the Mars, but you know what? I wouldn't stress out so much about the Mars bot because um, usually they release a, a bot or like a weapon and then they release the limited edition version. Uh, for the bot, it actually makes a big difference because the limited edition version of Mars, if they have one, will have 10% more health. So, really, you don't really want to go for the Mars, <laughs> you want to go for the limited edition version of it. So, by then, the drop rate for the actual Mars bot kind of improves. Uh, thank you, Roger. Roots the noob. Oh, I forgot. My Titan. Uh, who was... Someone in my clan was asking me about the uh, modules I use for the Indra. So this is the modules I use. And uh, you guys saw the mothership. So we're using the Orion today. Uh, not the North Light. Uh, any tips to quickly upgrade robots to MK3? Uh, so first of all, you want to save your resources and then only upgrade when you have the upgrade overdrive events because by doing that you save not only silver uh, but also gold, I believe, too. So that's what I would do if you want to upgrade your robots to MK3. And if you are spending, then just wait for the offers because some of the offers that they have, they've been selling MK2 stuff, which is kind of crazy. Or like crazy deals so I don't know you could always take that path too thank you Roger okay so we're gonna get uh, rolling here hold on a second I'm going to uh, switch the screens Mars to be a bit squishy yeah it can be squishy wait but do you find it squishy when you fire your turret I 
I'm just reading the, the chat right now while we uh, find a game here. So if you be patient. Oh man, first game of the, the stream I ran into a full squad. Nope, oh, hold on, that guy's... I saw that was the hacker. If we just keep running into the hackers then I'm just gonna do the opening and that will be the live stream. So it'll be a very short one. I'm on a different server here, it seems. Hold on a second. Okay, what does this guy have here? Yeah. How do you send a friend request on... I think it's based on like Facebook now. You talking about like... Yeah, but I don't accept like friends here because otherwise then I get spammed with invites. That's why I don't do that. So usually I just run with my clan mates. What is this guy? Oh, he's looking at me. He's kind of confused. He's like, what just happened? <laughs> well, we are leading. We are leading right now. Show the hackers? No, I don't show them. They're not worth my time. I know they want they want uh, to be seen, but they really honestly aren't worth my time. If you gotta hack a game, it just shows your lack of skill. Uh... Play skirmish, guys. I'm not gonna be playing skirmish because the live stream is about the Seraph. Uh, that's why I have it in the title. If I change it, then I will have to end the live stream completely. So, and we'll have to do that another time. Oh man, I am getting totally focused down here. Where is the, my teammates? Are they gonna help me out here or what? Where is everyone? Uh, oh jeez. Ah, heal. Oh, this guy's almost. Yes, we got him. Rampage. Maybe I can get this one here. Try to knock. Oh, what would I strike? Whoosh. I got him right. Right? Yes, godlike. So maybe this one. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, jeez. What is that? A man? I think a man is chasing me. <laughs> They're chasing me around here. No! Heal! We got beyond godlike. Oh man, I'm in this spawn. Oh jeez. Wow. <laughs> we made... That was good use though. Look at my team. They're all hanging back. I'm like, guys, you could have actually attacked it. You could have cleaned up shop. Okay. Um, let's run. Let's run with our first Seraph. Please read your message. Guys, it's hard for me to read messages when I'm playing because I'm actually like playing the game. <laughs> if I read messages, I'm gonna end up dying. So I try to read that in between like when I'm switching bots if I can. Oh man, oh man, nope. Oh, this guy's right here, where did he? Oh man, they're hitting me with orbital strikes now. Oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Nope, nope, nope. Trying to get behind cover. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh man, I'm gonna put the orbital strike over there too. This guy. Orbital strike on that guy. We're hitting a couple there. Maybe this one. Oh man, are they gonna kill? Nope, nope. I'm not gonna make it. Man, I definitely notice, like, my Seraphs are a lot easier to kill when I run this. I might get more damage in, but it's a lot easier to kill, for sure. Ow. Oh, 
How on earth did that guy even survive that? Jeez. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> He's. No! There's two of them. We're gonna move this way. Oh, but I'll strike here. Come on, come on. No, no. I need to go to flight. Oh. <laughs> Yo, where's my team? There's no team on this side, guys. Okay, I'm gonna just back up here. I'm not sure where my team is. Some of them are on that side. There's no one helping me on this side. These guys are gonna be in a spawn here. I did lock that guy down. This guy's gonna go straight for me. That's why he's flying around this side. I'm trying to see if I can get the mender. If I can get this uh, Mender down to his lost end. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. This guy's gonna be next. Nice. Oh. That, uh, that kind of got crazy there. We are leading though. This guy's, oh, he's also got Shield Breaker. This one here. These guys must be watching the live stream because they're hitting me with orbital strikes whenever I'm hiding. But it's not just one orbital strike, there's like multiple. I'm gonna move this way. Ooh, geez, someone's chucking the kitchen sink at them. Why is that guy running? Ooh. This guy, orbital strike. He phase exiled me, but I hit him with the order strike. He's gonna go really slow now. This one here. Oh, come on! Look at his health! Is, am I gonna... Oh no, see? Look, order strikes on me. I'm gonna see if I can move this way. Oh man, I'm moving so slow. Must get behind! Must get behind cover. There go! Oh jeez, someone just linked to me. Holy crap, I'm moving so fast. I'm, I'm expecting to get hit by an orbital strike this soon. Yes! No! Oh, get behind cover! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we able to... Yes, we got him. We got him, guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. They dropped in... They dropped in a Nodens right there. Big, fat, juicy target. Nope, 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 nope. Got him. This one I'm going to hit with the orbital strike. There we go. Oh, oh. Come on, come on, I gotta get him. He's... Yes, we got him, we got him. That guy was really low on health. What is this guy here? Whoa! <laughs> Someone linked to me. I'm moving so fast. Oh, it's this guy here. We're in this board now. They already have six other bots left. Strike right here. <laughs> I'm trying to hide away. No, 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 no. Guys, kill him, kill him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he can't get to me. Yes, we got him, we got him. Oh my gosh, I almost died. I was so close. Yes. Oh man, look at my health 30,000. Wait, he has another one. We're all waiting. Oh, 30,000 health left. Oh, there he, there he is. Wait, what is that? Wait, is that a... Is that a Skyros? That's gotta be a Skyros. 
Oh, you know what? He probably has beak on there. I think he has beak on there. He's going. <laughs> he's going. He's going. But this guy. You know what? I think this guy probably hit him. That's why he's. Wait a minute. He had cloak? Two cloak? What kind of build is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. We got it. Steal it! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop the Orbital Strike over here. No, no, no! Orbital Strike! Oh, come on! Wait, did I get him? <laughs> right there at the end. Oh man, I did some crazy damage there. That's a nice thing about this build. You can do a lot of damage, but man, do you, when you get hit, like you don't have any uh, heal. Uh Oh, you were the Indra? <laughs> you were trying to get me. Oh, man, everyone's time dropping me. What? Okay, hold on a second. Just trying to find another game here guys hold on a second your favorite robot right now is the typhon yeah what is everyone's favorite bot right now why do i target you well if you're shooting me i'm gonna obviously shoot back <laughs> the yeah because you're red if you're red you're dead you know the saying Hi Marlene! Let me just link to this guy. Uh, there's a Loki. Wait, how did he get there so fast? Did they link to him? Oh shoot, this guy here. Yeah, that's why you don't stop there. He just got a home beacon too. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if I can try to kill this Loki. So you can actually kill a Loki. You don't need quantum uh, sensor or quantum radar to kill him. So you see how I'm actually hitting him? He's gonna be locked. He's losing weapons already. Because my, my weapons um, are low to the ground, it allows me to uh, it allows me to do damage to him. Although we're losing a lot of beacons here. And I'm getting focused on oh my gosh my health. Uh -oh, uh -oh, whoa! This guy just blasted me here with his shell. Maybe I should push this other beacon. Maybe he'll follow me. Actually, we already have this beacon. You know what? I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help this guy here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Here we go. We locked him up. Yes, we got it. That invader, <laughs> he played it really well. See what he did? He kind of... Oh, here we go. Orbital strike. Both of these guys. Whoosh, both of them. They, they're going to move really slow now. Look how this guy's moving. He's trying to get... He's trying to turn around. He can't turn around. Oh, shoot. Heal, heal, heal. Nice. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Holy crap. That's a lot of stuff there. Their whole team is there. When in doubt, use the Ravana. Oh! 
<laughs> oh no, I need another ability quick. Another ability. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, we're gonna drop in with our seraphs. Incoming over the strike. I think I got that guy. Oh, triple kill. He's looking at me. <laughs> come on, come on, this guy's skill's gonna drop. No, 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 no. Come on, get him. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh man, these guys are taking a ton of damage on this side. I want I want that note and he's mine, he's mine! Mine, 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 mine! Three points! <laughs> this guy, he landed over the strike. I got him with the over the strike right back there, just to mess him up so he can't move. Uh, uh oh. Yo, I think we need another beacon here. What is this guy running? I think I should go for this guy. Oh shoot, what the... Yo, I can't move! Oh no, they're gonna... Uh, they're gonna be moving their Indra, whatever that is here. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff hitting me, jeez. You know there's other players on my team, right? <laughs> jeez. Four guys. Oh, my health, my health, my health. Where is this guy? I'm trying to move around the corner here. Uh -oh. oh, we got it. Yes, we got it. This is kind of risky though. I put an orbital strike over there to the guys that were hiding behind the cover. There's a oh wait, can I hit this guy? Here we go. Use my ability quick! There's a guy right here. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna use the, uh, yep. Got him. Guess what I have ready, guys. This guy lands. Orbital strike. Whoosh. Come on, get him. Oh no, I shouldn't have used my... I'm busy reloading. Holy crap! Yikes! I'm <laughs> gonna go this way. <laughs> help, help, help! Guys, save me! <laughs> no! Ah. Hey, but look, we got... We got a 5 cap on them. It was worth it. Oh, the strike on that guy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Got that behemoth. He's hiding. He can't hide now. Nice. I slowed them. I slowed them down. Like with the, the, the Orion. They can't move. It's funny when you do that. The Fainter Mars is just a deadly. It works really well on like larger maps. Okay, we'll play another game and then we'll do um, the opening. 
I know how it is when I get hit by gravity, yeah. It's like, man, I can't move. And sometimes there's a guy shooting you at, like, on your side, and you can't turn fast enough. North Light is still better. Yeah, I think I think I like North Light more. I'm just trying the Orion. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so I'm reading the, uh, I'm reading the chat here. Hi, Ned. Oh, I should help my uh, teammates. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I can hit this guy here. Oh, this guy's running Shield Breaker on his... Oh, he's got the Yang Z. Man, these guys have a lot of campus back there. Just gonna help my team get this side. I mean, we kind of push all the way to their spawn here. Oh, I can use this guy to charge me up. Oh, some players are asking me what do I mean by charge up. I'm talking about my nuclear amp. So basically, when I get to 95 stacks, I'm doing 76% uh, uh, more damage with my weapons because I have the nuclear amplifier on here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to run circles running. No, 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 heal, heal. Yes, he's gonna push him off. Oh. What? What are you guys talking about? Oh, they thought that I'm AD gaming? No, that uh, that's someone else. Sorry, wrong channel. I guess because I don't do the face cam thing, so players don't really know, but we don't even sound like even remotely the same. At least I'm not seeing something. Oh, we've got this guy. He keeps targeting me. You know what I'm gonna do, guys, when he lands. You know what I'm gonna do. Look what I got ready. Open strike! Whoosh! How you like that one? Oh man, this guy came in fast and furious. Oh. Come on, move. We're gonna lose this beacon now. Oh, shoot. We have no beacons. This guy, orbital strike on him. I'm trying to move this way. Oh man, look how quickly my therapy is going down. This is one of the downsides to running this build. I'm gonna lose. Oh, oh. <laughs> I need to push another beacon here because these guys are winning based on beaker bars. I'm trying to trying to run another beacon quickly. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Maybe I can use this to but the thing is my teammates please don't give up that beacon. We have three right now. We could make a comeback if we hold our beacons and we push a fourth. We have to push a fourth though. This guy doesn't see me. Be very, very quiet, guys. Be very, very quiet. Hello. <laughs> he turned around. He's like, wait, what? Ravana? Yep. Man, we gave up all these beacons too.
Look what I have ready, guys! Orbital Strike! Yes, we got a Titan Slayer! We're gonna get this beacon. We have a 4 cap on them. Nice, nice, nice! Oh, come on, move! Yeah, steamroll him. Come on, is this gonna be a comeback? Maybe, maybe. He's mine, he's mine. Get out of my way. Oh, oh, oh my. How was that? Oh. Oh. Hey, we got four caps though. We got a four cap on them. Guys, don't give up any beacons here. We're we're so close to winning. If we if we hold those four and we push that fifth and we get it. Oh man, this game's getting intense. Thing is, my whole team has bought it out. We have no more. Uh... Wait, why does this guy go for another beacon, dude? You're in the sky, Rose. Go for another beacon. Don't fight him. Why is he fighting this guy? Put the order strike over there. I don't know why that guy is fighting him though. Okay, I'm gonna go for. He should have gone for the like lower beacon. He had a Sky Rose. Too many potatoes on blue side. By the way, I'm not the one that's saying that. Just fewer. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to push the beacons there. I don't know. Like, the, I think that Sky Rose, he should have gone for a weaker beacon. Because we were really pushed for, uh, really pushed for time there. We had the beacon bar against us. Okay, so now we can open up the other chest. Players that use blinding and homing weapons are far from skilled players. Well, they're just using what's in the game. Um, I was using it too at one point. I just don't use it now. Better, better builds. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, wait, we can open up one of these. I don't know how I got this. Maybe uh, operations or something? Wait, where is my operations? Might as well pick up some of this stuff. What do we get? Oh. What does that mean? Oh, there we go. Wow. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and do this one here. Okay. So, do you guys want me to do like the singles here, or should we just go ahead and open up uh, twenty-five? Let's play bingo. <laughs> Day the beacons. I can wait for Champion League. Oh, trust me, they don't. A lot of times you would think that players do it in Champion League or the, even Master, they sit on beacons. You would think by then they would know, but they really don't. Um, Dragon is a Reviver drone good? Uh, answer, no. <laughs> that's that's what you call being direct. Nope. Not worth it. First opening of gold chest will be North Light. Okay, so I guess you want me to... Wait, what are the prizes here? Okay. We have those. Okay, so we'll do singles first. And then. Grand balance. Oh, you thought I was gonna get North Light? Well, I guess that answers that question. Some platinum. Frozen scorn. There's a North Light. We got a rare chest. Wait. What well, do you guys think I'm gonna win here? I'm guessing Patron drone or something. Oh wow, we actually got an Indra, you kidding? I wasn't expecting to get an Indra from this. <laughs> How did I get 5,000? Um Oh, the operations. Um, a door, I had the operations which I picked up. There were like six of them or whatever. Which one was it? Was it this one here? The 3000? 
And then there was one from this one here too, I think. The 4,000. What am I hoping to, uh, what are you looking for in the gold chest? Uh, which one? I actually have all this stuff, so not I'm not really looking for uh, for anything in particular. Um, maybe the limited. I think I actually have the Kraken Vajra though, but yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's just continue. Gravity amp. I got a lot of those already. Yeah, the operations pass. Uh oh. Are we stuck on gravity amp here and grand balance? Because that's all I'm seeing right now. Uh, north light. Uh, Momo, any news with my computer? Yeah, I actually have my computer back. I'm not sure if you noticed my videos um, are 1440 now. And the uh, the image quality, quality should be a lot higher than before. Oh, here we go with the north light. You weren't kidding. <laughs> gravity amp. You know what? There seems to be a lot of gravity amp and grab balance reactor. Man, how many do I need? Uh, got the Vajra. Although I'm trying to get the limited edition version, which is only in the other one. Oh man, what? Twice? How much silver do I get if I sell that? Yep, grand balance reactor, gravity amp. No, we actually have platinum. Oh, got platinum again. Platinum? Oh, three times in a row, really? Okay, Mahavajra. <laughs> Sass is funny. What I really like about you watching you do the box opening, you have the same ugly drop rate like you. <laughs> yeah, something like my account's like rigged. I'm like thinking like how? Like sometimes my, my drop rate's even worse than like players that are free players. I don't understand. Gravity app. Grand balance? Nope. Other one's gonna be grand balance or gravity app. Let's see. No, we got frozen spawn. Oh, okay, so we got one of these and then one of the other one. Anti-jamming support. Okay, so, question of the day. What do you guys think I'm gonna win of these three prizes? I'm thinking probably maybe the Mahavajra. Platinum is a joke. Yeah, but you know what? Better than nothing. I think I'd rather get Platinum than to get the North Light at this point. But I think a lot also depends on what you have. Grand Balance is good. What do you guys think I'm going to win of these three prizes? Let's do a vote. Oh, should I do a poll? Yes, I should do a poll. We will do a poll. We're gonna do a poll guys. We're gonna do a poll. This is good for the Mahavajra, I'm thinking. We may not even get the Kraken actually kinda think of it. Because I don't think I have enough of the coins. We're gonna let you guys vote. Let's see what we actually end up winning. I'll give it a couple of uh, couple more minutes. Okay. We're gonna end, we're gonna end the poll. Well, that's actually, wait, that's only 58, 68 votes. We have 250 viewers watching right now. Make sure you vote. We'll give it another minute.
Hi passenger, hi Charlie. <laughs> Although I just know that you won't win the Indra. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna win the Indra either, but it's fun doing these polls. Okay, let's 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 end the poll, let's see what we get. Okay, so wait, where's the results? YouTube is lagging. Go figure. Okay, so whoa, forty percent think I'm gonna win the crack in the Indra, you kidding? Okay. Let's let's see guys, let's see. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. What do we get? Oh man. Whoa. Wait. You guys been winning Kraken Inders like crazy? How did I get that the first one? I did not expect to get this. So wait, did we just win like three? Did we just win three Inders? Because I could have sworn I won two the regular ones. Uh wait. Oh I can't uh actually wait, can't check. One, two, where did the other one come from? I know I maxed one. I think I got one from the last event. It must have been. That's a lot of Indra. Wait, how much do I get if I sell it? About seven mil. And then you have the weapons that you sell too in the modules. I'll do that later. Hacker. Hey, I wasn't the one that said that. You guys voted. Apparently, you guys know what I'm gonna get next. That's what you call peel luck. Okay, let's go back. Let's do the. Let's do the rest. We'll do. Um. Oh, I have enough to open up the 25. So we'll just do this. Keep things short. Okay, so what did I get? Um, Gravity Am, Frozen, Scorn. There's still a lot of Gravity Am. Oh, wait, nope, there's a Grand Balance Reactor. This one's kind of spread out a bit more. The other one, when I was, man, when I was opening up the first round, it was just mostly Grand Balance and the uh, Gravity Am. This one's kind of spread out a bit more. What about the modules? Yeah, you can sell. So when you sell a Titan, you sell the Titan, then the weapons go to your inventory. You can sell the weapons and the uh, the modules also go to your inventory and you can sell that too. So you can get silver for all of it. Okay, um, we're gonna open up this. Mahavadra. That's like two. Wait. Yeah, I just went three in a row. And the patron. Okay, so that's what. Oh, wait, do we have another one? Damage controller. Okay. So, out of these two, what do you guys think I'm gonna win? I'm thinking. Maybe the, the Vajra. The, the one on the right. You won two Heimdall last time, and you won three Ox Minos long. Too hectic. <laughs> I know when you can't win it. When when you try to win something, you don't get it, and then when you're not trying to win it, then they give you like a whole handful of it, and it just keeps like dropping. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's open. I'm thinking Vajra. Yeah, we got the Vajra. That was a good guess. Man, I'm kind of surprised I got the Kraken Indra. I thought for sure that was gonna be in the last one. What is the next one? Let me see. Uh, Grand Balanced or Gravity Amp is my guess. Let's see. Oh no, wait, I couldn't do it. We need 300. I don't know why I was thinking I need a 150. Okay, well, that is the opening. We can run some games now. Just hold on a second. One more, it's like bot swarm. Man, YouTube must be really lagging or what? Seems to be a delay. <laughs> They're passing out gravity amps like bubblegum. 
Well, it has been it has been out for a while. They made a quick unequip button. I think they are working on that. We were testing something like that on the uh, on the test server. Is that, whoa, that guy. Oh. Wait, why did he go there? I thought he's gonna go to this. Oh shoot. Where is he? I'm gonna link to this guy. I thought he was actually literally gonna go to the center, but he went on the side, which is kind of weird. Maybe he missed his flight a bit. We got the beacon though, we have that going for us. Wait, this guy's shooting me. Oh, I think he's trying to link to me. Here we go, over the strike! <laughs> we got the we got their home beacon. Wait, are we we lost our home? going on here? It's like we're exchanging beacons. No, 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 no. Oh, we're gonna, we lost this one. <laughs> I think I hit this guy with the gravity here. Yeah. Look how slow he's turning. He can't, <laughs> he can't turn. No! I'm gonna go move underneath, so... Oh yeah, we got the look what we have ready. We gotta drop over there, over there. Yes. How many guys I hit? Kind of want to get out of this Kepri now, so I can drop into the the Seraf. Oh my gosh, what on earth is that guy running? Oh, that's why. He's got a Wayland back there. I was wondering what that was. Ooh. We've got the shield breaker on now. Except they have a lot of players there. Whoa, man. I'm surprised I couldn't even get a kill from that. I think these guys hit me with a gravity amp. I'm moving really slow. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What I can do is I can actually go in a flight here. So I can fly lower. Let's do that. Put the gravity... Uh, or the, <laughs> the over the strike. Which? We cannot slow this guy. He's trying to escape it. Oh man! Yo, whoa! Careful where you plant your butt, there, dude. Just squished into the ground. Imagine you could do that. Oh shoot! This guy's jumping. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> no! I'm just gonna go plot all the way through. Hold a strike on this guy! Yes! Whoosh. Upgrade with a 25%. Yeah, you always want to upgrade. So my advice to like, um, especially players building their hangar, whether you're free player, new player, uh, even like a player in Champion League, what you want to do is you want to actually save your resources and then you wait for the upgrade overdrive events to uh, pop up and then you upgrade then because you can save a lot of silver. A lot of silver and a lot of gold too. So um, just to kind of give you an idea, usually like a module, if you're going to upgrade like a module, it would be like what, 40 million uh, silver. During those upgrade events, it's going to be like 30 million, in some cases even less than that. So totally worth saving up. And then you can use that, um, you know, the say silver to upgrade something else. Uh, 
Um, just reading the chat. Oh, you know what we can... Uh, what I can do is we can play a couple of games here. And then um, I can open up the black market as well. We can do that. Uh, is it worth upgrading the Nodens right now? What weapons? Modules do you recommend? Ooh, I don't know about the Nodens. I think... You know, the thing about the Nodens is it's actually very handy. When you have a lot of Titans out there, the only thing is you probably don't want to engage close range. I really like it with the Vajra weapons, so... Yeah, I really like I like that. Ooh, is it Maka Macaron? Hi, Macaron. Siren needs a special edition. Hold on a second, guys. Uh, I guess Google is targeting uh, games like... Ooh, I didn't see. COD. Sorry, just trying to find a game. I'm reading, I'm reading the chat right now. Uh, also guys, if you enjoyed the live stream, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet uh, done so, that um, is one way to support my channel, my live streams. Um, it is free. And uh, also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, speaking of which, I do currently have a Mars giveaway running. Uh, let's see who's in this game here. Sorry, I have to kind of wait a bit to see who's actually hacking here or not. Right. Seraph is not balanced. You know, the funny thing is players told me that it's the most balanced bot when it came out. Um, I disagreed with them, but that's only because remember I had run it before and I had tested it on the uh, on the test server and I kind of disagreed with them and they insisted that I was wrong and now they're saying it's a pilot but it's actually not the pilot. I had tested it before then and it was very deadly. The pilot obviously makes a little bit more deadly but it was very deadly. With the right um, drone chips and stuff it was very deadly. We have a bit of a problem here on this right side. There's like four guys. Wait, where's everyone else? I think I had like four guys there. Yeah, four guys on the right. We just gave up. We got their home though. We have that going for us. Uh, thank you. Thank you, John, for becoming a recruit ranked member. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I can launch this here to help with that. He's gonna try to engage, but the thing is, he's not gonna have much health this here. Yep. I'm gonna put the orbital strike on this guy. Man, we need a we need to get our home beacon back. Like ASAP. <laughs> this guy, man, I'm surprised he's still alive. Man, what the heck did you feed your Fenrir there, dude? Um, we have. They're getting our left, though. I think we're gonna give up the left, it seems. I'm gonna move in towards center. They need to ban the hackers. The problem is those guys just create another count. What they need to do is they need to fix what's happening on their... Uh... Ooh. 
They need to fix what's happening on the, the server. It's got to be server side. Banning won't won't help. Oh man, I'm actually doing a lot of damage with this. I'm gonna launch that over there just to help the center. This way we can flank both sides. Maybe my, my drone can fire at them while I push this beacon here. Let's lock this guy down. Just drop the orbital strike on this guy. Holy oh, shoot, he's gonna squish me. <laughs> we did get him. We did get him with the orbital strike though. We got our side. Ooh, maybe I should push. We're actually holding down the beacons pretty good. Ooh, big fat juicy target. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. This guy's gonna do a lot of damage to me. Holy, no, 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 no. Oh, that's why I don't like having the shield breaker on there. We're gonna have to use the Ravana now to deal with this guy. We're giving up our beacons on that left side as well. Okay, we got we got rid of that guy. We're giving up the lift. Uh, guys, don't do it. Orbital strike over there. Did we get him? How is he still alive? Okay, there we go. We're gonna get this, right? We got this. We're pushing that side. I'm gonna go this way. Let's maybe do this. This guy's gonna go into a flight here soon. He's going for Saint. I'm gonna follow. Yeah, he's gonna try to get this beacon here. But we're right here with him, so he's gonna end up he's gonna end up dying, I think. This one will go into flight because he doesn't wanna lose his, his siren. I'm trying not to use my ability, because if I use my ability, what's gonna end up happening? I'm gonna give up the beacon. Okay, so we're gonna use it now because this guy's gonna be landing here soon. We have another one ready. And we have another one ready, just in case. <laughs> this should do it. Here we go. Oh, that. Oh. Okay, let's drop in on this side. We have the Seraph ready. We've got Shield Break on here, so he's not going to survive. This guy's going to get the Orbital Strike. Whoosh. Oh shoot, that guy's jumping at him. Well, they only have two players left. The Ravana actually does really well even against the Angler robot, but I think the Angler robot is like stronger overall. Oh my gosh, that's just brutal. Yeah, you see, even if I had Shield Breaker, this Ravana, he actually ends up doing really well against me. I have to back away. That is one, uh, one thing you will fear. Like, even if you have Shield Breaker, he just uses his Transcendence to negate your Shield Breaker. And if they're running the Poe Pilot, they can outlast your ability to, if they time it right. Oh. Oh, they have an Indra here too. Notice also that Indra is really hard sometimes too because of that ability. I'm trying to get him down to his half health there. Oh, the strike guy! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Thank you, John. Gifted one membership. Who is the lucky recipient? Oh, Gunner! Congrats, Gunner! So both of you are now members. We've got to see. J 
just keep the four cap. Yeah, I think I think once we got our home beacon back, things stabilized a bit more. We were kind of scrambling a bit there. Um. Wait, did I just get another level here for this? What did I get? One one million silver. Okay, let's go ahead, let's run a game. Actually... When will the Skyros be in the workshop? Ooh, that might be some time. Skyros is still kind of new. Guess what I did guys, I accidentally clicked on the wrong. That should be interesting. Now it's all about luck. Hopefully I'm lucky. Oh no 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 no! Someone else is gonna get the kill. No, no. Whew. Oh no! I need to get here quickly. This guy needs to survive. I gotta get the kill. Yep. Here we go. Steal it. There's someone behind me. What is this guy in? Triple kill! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Oh. Maybe I can get this guy when he ends up. No! Oh, come on! Oh man, someone got the kill. Whoa, that was weird. What happened there? That was really weird. Someone stole my kill. Oh jeez, this guy's just gonna be running here. <laughs> Why not FFA? Yeah, I don't typically like running this because it really doesn't require much skill. It's all really luck. I know players will say, well, it's skill because you won this one, but sometimes you're not because... This guy's running. He knows I'm after him. But the thing is, I'm going to be pushing him towards the enemy. So it's a matter of which one can I steal kills from. I just hope I can get this kill here. There we go. There's another one over here too.
Orbitus strike, strike them. Yeah, they got them. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. That's why I didn't get it. Someone used the Orbital Strike there. This guy's just using Ceres the whole time. We did get him, we did get him low, ooh, you know what, it'll be interesting how the Mars does. This is more fun? No, I actually find free fall really boring. Because there's really no strategy involved, it's just really stealing kills. Uh, domination, in my opinion, is far, requires far more, like, skill, domination and beacon rank. Right? Because you have to balance a beacon bar. Like this guy's just gonna hide, then he's gonna go into flight, and he just steal kills. Not really any skill involved with that. Interesting, he's running away though. Right here, maybe that might help. But I think this guy's gonna try to get the kill here. He probably has another Seraph, I'm guessing. This is actually doing pretty decent for free for all. But I'm guessing this guy's probably in a Seraph. behemoth or something right yeah I think that's a behemoth oh shoot yeah that must be a behemoth that he's running I'll let this guy kill me ah uh, no he's still gonna get me Then they steal the kill at least the last second. Yeah, that too. But also, the other thing that makes it with not as much skill is you can keep dropping in the same bot, right? I think there's a guy behind me too. Now the thing is, if he wants to win, he just doesn't drop in, right? Because he's won. This is why I say this game mode doesn't really require much skill. I don't even think he dropped in, so he didn't drop in with his, uh, he didn't drop in with his Titan because he knew that he had won, so he basically throws the game. Like, what is this guy running? He's, he's in Champion League, but he didn't drop in because he knew that I would kill the rest of his, uh, his bots. But he didn't drop in with his Titan. Uh, you shouldn't be able to keep using, yeah, I agree. Wait, how many Ceres did this guy have? He had, yeah, he had two, but I didn't, I didn't see his Fenrir, I didn't see the, the Indra. He didn't drop all his bots. What iPad do I use? I use an iPad Pro. To make tons of silver, Max has been 8 minutes in one game. Whoa, is that from the ad? Yeah, I hate, I hate that mode with a passion. No skill at all. It's just stealing kills, 
a um, lot of luck involved because you have to be in the right place right time and if you're ahead just don't drop in and you win hi wolfie Trying to see if we can target this guy at the center here. Oh, we, we have to. You know what? They didn't even get the right beacon. Which I'm kind of surprised. Um, I hope this guy doesn't get off the. He got off the beacon. See, this is what annoys me. The guy got off the beacon. You don't want to do that, dude. Don't go back. Don't do ever do that. That's why you lose all your bots. Okay. So at least we held this down here. But I think we're gonna lose the left now because there's no one there. Same thing. I'm trying to, ah, we lost it. There's no ways. I'm gonna have to push the right, I guess. Um, to invite them to a one vs one or squad, do you really need someone's game ID? You could use battle history, I guess. But I don't, I have mine turned off just because I get spammed all the time. We have our order strike ready though. Oh, I should drop it here because his buddy's gonna drop in on the side. Here we go. Oh my, holy jeez, this guy all the way down to his last stand. Was that from my order strike? It might have been. I think it very well could have been the order strike there. Wait, huh? Did they not get this beacon? Wait, that is weird. Weren't they on this side and they had this beacon but it's right? That's kinda weird. Once you hit this guy with the order strike, I need some help. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Man, I need the heal. I need the heal now. I need the heal. Like big time. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly to another beacon here because it seems like my team is giving up a lot of stuff <laughs> on that side there. See if I can maybe go this way. Okay, let's do this. I just drop down so that at least I can it, it ensures that I get this beacon. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I need my ability here. Nope, they got me, but I can drop in, um, hold on, I can drop in on this side. Trying to go for this side here too. Whoa, I just threw, I flew right through him. Phase flight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, no. Um, we have that other side. I'm just looking to see which side we have here. Not really worried too much about this guy. Orbital oh, strike over here. Three guys. Three guys. Nice. Oh, whoa. This guy just decided to jump in at center here. Holy crap. Have the orbital strike. Orbital strike. No, no, no. Right there. That should slow him down. I'm trying to get underneath here for cover. And then I'm, I'm gonna go into flight and see if I can try to kill this luchador. Shoot him in the belly. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I tried to... That was actually decent damage stuff. We can probably kill this guy. This He's almost dead. Someone sneeze! Yes. Oh, hi. Have over the strike. Uh, oh. Yo, why are we giving up? Wait, isn't that our beacon there on that side? We gave up that side, I guess. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Holy crap. 
How does he? Okay, I was gonna say, how does he still have these weapons? Man, this guy's gonna kill me. He's gonna smoke me. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Man, I'm running beacons like a madman here. What's up, top here? Oh. Uh. Let's use Ravana. I'm gonna turn the center beacon. Uh, yep. Over the strike on this guy. Ooh, I'm gonna be fighting my big brother, guys. <laughs> we both have the ability. You know what? I think the Ravana actually can beat uh, Indra because you have more abilities, right? The sonic damage is pretty deadly. Hey, I beat up two of my big brothers. Thank you. Thank you, John. Oh, Ramar is a new member of the channel. Thank you for so much for the gift. See beacon are change charging faster than the wind oh changing faster than the weather. <laughs> Is this guy got he's got teleport I think. Oh man. Oh jeez. No shoot him! Mine 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 mine! Oh come on. <laughs> wow that game turned around quick, but man I was running beacons like crazy. Home beacon, center beacon, their home beacon, six beacons. That Demeter seems immortal. No, it's just that Demeters move very fast. So when you're trying to hit them with Sonic, it can be kind of tricky. Okay, let me pick up some of these. And... You know what? Let's open up the black market now. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, we have... I'm trying to think what I actually need from here. I guess the silver... Oh, I actually don't really need the silver now, but... So, you need silver, keys, gold, power cells. Platinum would be probably my only... Well, resources. Yeah, let's go here, let's open this up. Onslaught. Membership roulette. Uh, what happened to Aegis channel? I'm not sure. I haven't been following his uh, his channel or the other channels. <laughs> he beat up his brothers. I do the same thing. Family feud. Do I give out the memberships? Uh, I don't. What what's happened um, is other members have given out memberships. That's like a new feature. Yeah, thank you so much, John, for helping me out, and also for the uh, the gifts that you've sent. You know what I would like, actually, on my end, when you gift a member, like, membership, it doesn't say who got it. It would be nice to actually see that on my end. What is the best drone for Ravana? I like the beak.
Okay, so that's what we won. So we got Scorcher. What else did we win? We've got the Oolong Cinder. Wait, did I get another Operations? Oh, we got another one. Yeah, usually the Operations with the resource thing is pretty good. Whoa, 50 million silver. Hey, Togi. Wait, did I get any more of these? Oh, we got another one. Paint job? No, wow, you're right. That that paint job for the Mars is really hard to get. I don't think we even saw it. Well, we saw it, but we didn't win it. Um, so the question on the Ravana, which drone do I like using for it? So I have like Havoc on here. This is what I'm running. I actually sometimes run um, two repair amps on my Ravana, but I've been trying out the two balance unit, which I kind of like because you actually do more damage. Like you get 9% uh, more health and 8% more damage. Whereas repair amp, you don't get the extra damage. So 8% is quite, quite a bit. Although, in all honesty, I'm kind of tempted to run two uh, overdrives. <laughs> Should I run two overdrives? I think we should do it just to see I'll play one more game and then we can do a Q&A thing I have a I have an idea for like so you know how you guys like running or like seeing the Vox live stream and stuff I might be bringing um, bringing that back but in a different format and you guys can see some like that kind of gameplay with like themes and stuff. Okay, uh, let's try that. Hold on a second, gonna find a game here. overdrives yeah I put two overdrives on I want to see how it does although I think it's kind of risky with the Ravana because if I'm running beak I only have really one resistance chip so it's gonna be super squishy but man if I'm charged up oh that thing is gonna pack a punch sorry I'm trying to find a game here We've got um, a mega player, we've got a honor player, we have someone already in center. Oh, it's dies! We're going up against dies. Guys, you gotta at least watch your left side. He just ran straight for our home beacon and there's no one here. The other guy that was here ran, <laughs> he backed away. Sorry, dies. Yeah, dies is very good at running beacons. He's one player, you gotta watch. If you don't keep an eye on him, you see all your home beacons before you know it, the game's over. Holy crap, what did that guy eat for breakfast? Yo, there's a lot of stuff happening here on this side. All of a sudden, there's like 3-4 guys here. And the back beacon? Okay, we got rid of that guy. Ooh, what on earth is that up top? Is that like a shell or something? Oh, it is a shell. This guy. We got him, we got him. Oh! <laughs> Okay, 
trying to lock this Kepri down here. We have to stop him because otherwise he's going to go for our home. How is he still alive? Man. Oh my gosh, the dude is still alive. How? Yes, we got him. Orbital strike over there. Whoosh. I think I got someone back there. Oh man, this game is getting... It's already getting quite spicy here. Trying to get them down to their last stand at least. Like this guy here. Uh-oh, he's gonna kill me. No, 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 no. Ah, heal, heal, heal. I got hit by the uh, gravity amp. I can't turn. Oh, come on. Yo, guys, guys. Help, help, help. This side. I put the order strike over there. That might help a bit on this side. Although, did they get that beacon? Did they seriously? No, they didn't. We're fighting for it. This guy's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh, come on. We're losing so many bots on this side here. I gotta help my buddies. They can't kill him. And the other guy's flying, which you never want to do. There we go. Okay, we got it back. Oh my gosh, we lost so many bots here. We're actually in trouble. I don't even think we know it yet. Well, I know it. That They did a lot of damage on that side. If we can actually kill some of the titans though, we could kind of equalize things a bit. I'm going for this loot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Ah! <laughs> oh man. Uh... uh oh. We've got a bit. We've got a problem here. We've got a really big problem. We gotta kill this guy quickly before he gets here. Kill him! Orbital strike! Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Oh, wait a minute. We've only got three players left? What? How? I'm gonna fight. Oh, shoot. I need to get closer. I have to go in a fight now. We've only got... We've only got four players left. What happened to the rest of our team here? Uh -oh, uh oh no 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 oh come on uh. i put the orbital strike there on that player Ooh. oh no we gave up we gave up our home but you know what we're so low on uh mm. let's go for this guy here We have four players, but man, we lost a keep. We lost our home. If I can turn this beacon, maybe. I put the orbital strike over there. That might help too. Oh. Yeah, coming! Orbital strike! <laughs> Yes, he got him too! Oh, come on, man. If we can pull this off, this will be the craziest comeback ever. Never surrender! Orbital strike over there! Whoosh. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. Come on, are we getting that? We're seriously getting that beacon. I'm just waiting for my waiting for my ability. You know what? I'm gonna fire now. So I have a full clip. By the time I drop, maybe. Come on. This guy's right over here. I gotta use a shield breaker on him. No. Oh my gosh, guys. Yikes. Three this four. Mask it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come on. I need to go in the flight. Fight, 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 fight. Over the strike on him. Over the strike. Come on, get him. Guys, get those beacons quick. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh my gosh, we got him, we got him. Come on, oh jeez, this game is so tense. Can we... Oh no, they have their titan. Hurry. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. No. He's getting that beacon, we're getting this beacon. But it's three versus four. We don't have much of a beacon bar to work with here. Maybe I put an orbital strike over there. Right. Whish. Come on, guys. Come on. We can push up. Push. Uh... Oh, jeez. Got... Do they have two titans? I think they have two titans out there. This, uh, the Seraph on our team. Fly to their home. Fly to their home. Go to their home. Oh, man. I need a... He's going to their home. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Oh shoot, I'm taking on way too much damage. I think I might end up losing this. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Gotta kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> this guy's still gonna kill me. No. Ah oh, man, I don't think we're gonna win this, guys. Oh, holy crap! Now that was a game. That was a really good game. That was nuts. <laughs> Wi-Fi got cut out. Wait, were you in my squad? Oh man, we were down a player. <laughs> wow, wow. Good games, guys. That was close. I think, you know what? If we didn't lose a player, I think we could have pulled that off. We could have so pulled that off. That was, that was within winning, uh, <laughs> within winning range. Hold the four cap. We couldn't hold the four cap though. We didn't actually have a four cap because when I spawned with my Indra, we only had three beacons. We were pushing the left. Man, oh, that was an epic game. That was really good. I know I lost, but that was really good. That was exciting. So close. That was so close. Man, I can't believe my, my one Sarah surviving at the end there. Oh, man. It almost turned the game around. That was a good game. Okay, so guys, we're gonna do a... We're gonna do a Q&A. Uh, Alec, may oh that that was the last game of the uh, the stream. Yeah, it's one of it's, it's one of those. It was really good. <laughs> Dies, <laughs> your thumbs hit. <laughs> oh man, that was that was good. That was good. That was exciting. That was a really good game. <laughs> that was so exciting. Man, I thought you know what? I actually thought there was a good chance we would have won that, but we started like. Because you guys had like four or five players and we only had three. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what's going to happen now? Have you guys noticed this as well? Uh, fun goals, yes, I have actually noticed. That's why sometimes when I press it, it doesn't work. Um, I, you can't, I think you can't use it when you're using your, uh, like that transcendence ability of the Indra. So when you're in that mode, you can't use the ability. You have to be in like, you're out of that mode for a bit and then you can use it. And you have to be facing, obviously, the player close enough. Uh, thank you, uh, Godspeed. Thank you, guys. Good game. We, all, we call those thumb... <laughs> thumb... <laughs> thumb flatteners. Yeah, that, was, that was a really good game. That was a really good game. 
how do you get the Skyros pilot? Um, I don't know actually now, because I know they, they have it in events, and then after that, they uh, bring it to the store. Casey, why aren't we playing Fortnite? Because we're not on the Fortnite channel. Stop trolling. <laughs> but I'll, I'll run later on. Oh man, you you have to watch the live stream that we had um, yesterday. There's, there's actually two really crazy games. The one game... Okay, so the one game, all my teammates left and I was playing full squad. <laughs> so it's me versus all the squads of four out there. And I came, I came second. <laughs> Which is pretty good. Uh, the other game, I came in clutch because we were lost. We were lost team, and I think two of our players got knocked out. We only had two, and they bum rushed us with four players, and we killed all four of them. <laughs> that was so crazy. We had some funny. It was so funny. Some moments, like the one where I got like, I got knocked down, and I was like in this bathroom, and this person was trying to like kill me. So I kept like opening the door, closing the door, and they and then when they shot, like they shot into the door and they just like gave up on me. The bugs are fine when they're not on <laughs> your bots. Sometimes it happens, sometimes I just remove the bot from my hanger. Moy is uh, very fond of your eldritch. What's better for it? Cremolo Razdor or the Blight and Hazard Chidi Keep Magneton Pulsar? Um, you know what, Moisa, at this point, I think maybe Blight and Hazard might be a better choice, and I'll give you my reasoning why. So, the Cremola and Razdor, those are the bendy bullets, it's been out for a while, but we're still seeing a lot of players run it. Um, I know for sure that they've nerfed the Smooter twice, and usually that's like a, that's like a red flag, right? If you nerf it twice, it means that there's, there's probably going to be other nerfs around the corner, because they're watching it. Uh, in terms of like metrics so i would imagine that the the cremola and the Razdor might get a nerf in the future um, also blight and hazard has more range than the cremola and Razdor. so with yamantel map coming out it might benefit you more having that extra range um hold on just reading oh geez john thank you so much for another membership who uh Oh, Wonderland. Congrats, Wonderland. Thank you so much, John. Um, did you upgrade anything on my PC in the effect? The stream seems super crisp. Uh, no, I didn't. It's... Oh, wait. Are you talking about the live stream now? Or the live stream which I did on Fortnite? Or the other day? Because I'm actually not live streaming on the PC right now. I'm actually live streaming on my Mac. Yeah, when I play on my, my personal account, because it's iOS, it's just easier. Uh, because, well, iOS, Mac, you know. Um, so just the compatibility, it's just easier to work with. Um, but right now I'm streaming from my Mac. Uh, black market only for Skyros. Um, Samad is Zoopy Loop, my Fortnite channel. Yes, yes, that's my other Fortnite. But I'm not, I'm not promoting it yet because I'm going to do videos for it. And then when I do videos, then I'll start promoting just so that you guys have more to watch. Uh, but I have been live streaming like a crazy amount on there lately. Uh, but yeah, we had some fun squads and stuff. Some funny moments. There's a lot of funny moments actually with that. So like yesterday, because I always say like I don't like using the boogie bomb. Because every time I use the boogie bomb on myself, <laughs> I end up dancing and the enemy kills me. And the same thing happened yesterday. I'm like, I just mentioned it. And then I tried using it, and I boogie bomb the enemy and myself, and we were both dancing. It's funny. Do you think they will nerf those shotguns? Um, you're talking about these shotguns here? The new ones? Um, it's possible. But I, I think actually at this point, I would say there's probably a higher risk for the bendy bullets. So the Cremola, Razdor, and Smooter. I can see those actually getting a nerf before like these weapons. Uh, also punches, I could see a possible nerf for punches. Because uh, a lot of play players are running the punches on like Seraph and like Behemoth. And it, yeah, it charges your mothership up quickly, um, you know, all of that. It just, the damage output is crazy. Um, oh yeah, so for those of you asking about the membership uh, thing, John, uh, who, gave, who gifted a membership, 
so the way that it works on YouTube, apparently, you can't, I don't think you can give a certain person, like in the chat, a membership. I think it does it randomly. So it's like just a YouTube feature. So it's kind of like he pays for the membership, but then the person that gets it, it's going to be totally random. So it could be anyone. It could be someone who just dropped into the chat or someone who was in the chat for a while. It's just, yeah. Um... The spec for my my Mac. I have the uh, the M1 uh, Max. Which one did I get? Now I can't remember. Not the not the was it the out? No, I can't even remember what it's called again. Yeah, I needed it because uh, <laughs> I edit all my videos on the Mac, so all my design stuff and all the editing is all done uh, on my Mac. And I started noticing with my other older Mac, which I've owned for like. Uh, the other one was like for four years, I think. Um, but yeah, I noticed like I was getting a lot of lag when I was working in Final Cut Pro. Um, probably because they updated f for the M1 chip or something. I don't know, but I noticed things were getting a lot slower. And sometimes I couldn't even see like transitions properly. Uh, hard to get consistent good damage without a syrup with uh, punches. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really go so much. I mean, I do focus on damage, but that's not my primary thing when I play. Uh, what is your opinion on the Skyros and its usability in today's meta? Um, so Ben, we were seeing the Skyros being used quite a bit, um, at least in higher level play. Initially, when it first came out, I started seeing a lot of Skyros and you know players were using it. Uh, the only thing with Skyros is your damage uh, average is going to plummet. Right, because you're not for, for the Skyros to be effective, you have to be in the more the ball mode. You're not really in the weapons mode, so you're not really doing much damage. Uh, the other downside to the Skyros is that your uh, your Titan won't get charged up quickly, or even sometimes even your mothership. Because remember, you're not fighting, right? So um, some players started moving away from the Skyros because of that, and we're seeing it right now. So we're seeing hangers that are heavily Kepri and Seraph. So what the Kepris do is they link to a Seraph and then the Seraph goes for the beacons and it basically does the uh, it does a job that what the Skyros was designed for. So we're seeing uh, less Skyros right now. Um, doesn't mean the Skyros is bad, no, it's just that we're seeing less. And when we do see it like being more effective, it's usually I would say mid to late game. Uh, which you get first, MK3 Mars or the Erebus? I think between the two, I would say Mars is probably more effective. Yeah, another thing you could also use Skyros for if you're not running beacons is use it just to hold down a beacon too. Um, because it takes forever to kill, right? So if you need to hold down a beacon because um, maybe you have the beacon lead, but it's getting really close to the point where the game's gonna end. What you could also do is drop your Skyros and just sit on the beacon. Because it'll take forever for the uh, red team to kill you. Uh, soft Curly, it question. During the Dream Hangers, what was my favorite Dream Hangers setup? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, we had some really good Dream Hangers. Some of them were. Some of them were theme and some of them were like hangers that players were actually building towards. I like the theme ones because they tend to be more creative. Uh, some of them very challenging too. I remember one in particular which kind of stood out. Someone actually asked me to run like only punishes. Um, this was when we had, I'm trying to think what weapons we had. It was during one of the, like a recent meta. I ran like punishes and all those weapons and I was going up against, I think it was a player from the Gods Clan, this was a while back, and he couldn't believe the amount of damage that I had output with like punishes and stuff. Because uh, the player the player that asked me to run that hangar, I only had Avengers and I had punishes, like just machine guns. And I remember doing insane amount of damage, it was really good game though, I remember that game. It was on Canyon map. Uh, 
Blitz with Sonic Weapons, you can run it, but it won't be as effective, um, that particular build. Best uh, setup for Freedom Skyros at mid tier. Uh, Halo Warrior, I would use a Skyros with Sonic Weapons. So, Devastator, Havoc, and Scatter. Ares with Magnetar and Pulsar. Um, well, we're not going to be running any games now, and this is my own personal account. It's not that build that you mentioned is not one that I would run in my main hangar. It just wouldn't survive against the top players. It would just get wiped out. I'm talking about Max out Ares, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that is something that I could do maybe for Dream Hangers if you've submitted. Yeah, the two overdrives won't really work that well because when you're playing against top players, um, if they got a Seraph with Shield Breaker, while you might have two overdrives and yes, it will get triggered, you will lose health so fast that you wouldn't even get a chance to use that overdrive. Because once they once they have the Shield Breaker on you, your health with punches, if they're hitting you with punches and a Seraph, your overdrives will kick into gear, but the chances are you're probably going to end up dying like straight away because the output the damage output of the serif with punches is insane with the shield breaker there's no ways you'll survive that uh, hi hi moto uh what is my thoughts on pixonic nerf all the weapons after you upgrade them to mk3 i think that's more like how do I how do I explain this? So usually when a new weapon or new robot comes out into the game, you have to kind of ask yourself who are the players that are going to get it first. It's going to be the pay to win players, but it's also the ones that pay heavily and like the heavy spenders and they have maxed out hangers. And usually where do you find those players? They're usually in Champion League and they're right at the top. We're talking about the S rank players, right? Because they are the ones that will have multiples of those. But the thing is Champion League itself when you compare it to the entire player base, it's only 5 to 10% of all players. The players that I'm referring to and that you're referring to is actually only 1 to 2% of that 5 to 10%. It's like a very small amount. So what ends up actually happening is because those players have it, most players don't have it, right? And over time, it will get like that kind of meta will trickle down the league system. So that takes time. Um, if Pixonic is basing it, if they're basing their metrics and their balance on numbers, remember they're taking the whole uh, player pool as a whole. So that means we're seeing signs of it, only 1-2% to 2 of the whole player pool. So let's just say there's like 100 players, we're only seeing it 1-2 to 2 players that have it. So if they're basing the balance on 50%, that means 50% of all players need to get that. But Players want Pixonic to change things when only one to two, uh, you know, one to two players have it out of the hundred. It doesn't make any logical sense. So over time, what ends up happening, more and more players get it, right? So we might have like 60 players out of the hundred, and then at that point, that's when they will see, okay, well maybe now it looks like this particular weapon or this robot is overpowered, because remember, balance is considered 50/50, right? Or you know, 50 is like your your metric i don't know if that makes sense guys this is why it takes so long for things to be nerfed sometimes it's very obvious you know, sometimes it's very obvious but in many cases it it will take it can take months before you will figure out okay this one is overpowered because players are running it so for example a good example is um i'm trying to think like even the Seraph. Okay, so when this when we tested the Seraph out on the test server, I could tell that it, there's a good chance that it was probably going to be meta because it, it was tough to kill on the ground for whatever reason. It, that was when I noticed it. This was also when a lot of players were telling me that it wasn't overpowered, it was balanced. Now we're seeing a lot of players run in multiples and players are actually saying it's because of the pilot. And when in reality, it's actually not because of the pilot. That pilot actually contributed to the Seraph being strong but I could actually see it already before that pilot came out uh, that the Seraph was going to be a problem because I was saying to my clanmates you know this thing's actually really hard it seems really tanky 
and at that point this is actually when when the top players started figuring out the drone combinations and the modules and stuff so we didn't see it in full blown uh, thing Louise uh, Castillo you're talking about balance in this game it's funny the thing I think players they, they kind of get confused between balance with numbers versus what they actually see out there um, it, it's really hard to kind of like put this into words it's not because I don't understand what balance is okay Louise here's here's an example Louise um, let's just say you were watching a game or you weren't uh, playing a certain game so let's just say like Starcraft uh, 2 okay or we could even use Fortnite I don't know if you play Fortnite we could use Fortnite as an example some game that you you've never played before let's just say the comp like Epic Games asks you to balance a weapon so how would you balance that weapon if you were basing it on numbers I hope you you would say that uh, well I would ask the players what they thought because that's actually not how you do proper balancing it doesn't make any logical sense because you could be asking players that have uh, no experience playing the game maybe they've only played a couple of games um, you could be asking players while they might be pref uh, you know playing the game a lot they could also be tailoring it to what they prefer which means it actually favors them so you have that kind of bias so in order to balance it you would be looking at numbers so you would be looking at how much damage each weapon in Fortnite does and you'd be comparing it right and over time that takes time right because remember players are getting used to a weapon maybe they haven't used it before there it takes time so it takes a couple of months and then you can say okay well this particular shotgun is outperforming all the other shotguns and you can see it based on numbers and then that's when you you uh, change it so that alone will take time it's not something that you will see in the first week there's no ways it will take time because these things kind of work work its way with time and this is why it takes time with this game even you know when it comes to balancing that's why they balance it it takes time it's not something that you could figure out instantly there's no ways yeah uh hulk said he thought the seraph was going to be just like the algae and wouldn't make it to the the meta but one little buff it becomes the meta yeah but it, it that, that can happen as well that can happen as well but i think the seraph was always strong the difference is that uh, a lot of players they hadn't figured out which modules to use yet and which drone and drone chips once they figured it out then we started seeing a different picture and in all honesty i think if they didn't have the victoria pilot and they removed it the seraph would still be very strong even if we got rid of the unknown seraph it would still be very strong just a regular one you can't base the nerf on report you need to base a nerf on you need to base it on like metrics over time and the longer it takes the more like you would have more samples in terms of numbers to use that as a basis so for example the first week um, one weapon might show like it does a certain amount of damage versus the others but that might be like you're only basing it on like say a sample of say a thousand okay like a thousand games you take that same uh, you take that same way of calculating balance and you put it over like say six months that thousand sample is now like say I don't know half a million half a million is more like it, it's more accurate then you can really see the difference like um, how much one weapon is doing relative to the other and then based on that you can say okay this weapon needs a nerf or this one needs a buff uh, so Curly's other what inspired me to uh, start making videos <laughs> you know the funny thing is uh, when I started getting into YouTube it was more because when I was playing I ran into hackers well not hackers those which I felt cheated so uh, they were gloating about how good they were what they didn't realize was that I was trying to figure out how to record them and I was gonna post all the videos on YouTube but when I started recording I had problems recording like I had no game sounds I was trying to figure out how to do that I was like how do I record on my phone I didn't know how to record on my phone and then I finally managed to figure out oh, like this I can use this program to record my games and it has game sounds because I had to make it like more legit <laughs> and then I posted and then 
I started posting my videos, like gameplay, because I was testing, right? I didn't know how to do all this stuff. So I was uploading my videos. Meanwhile, I didn't realize that uh, viewers were actually watching my content. And then one day, um, one player who eventually joined Clan Vox, he asked me, he's like, Adrian, he's like, have you ever considered like putting out more videos? He's like, I really like watching your gameplay. And I'm like, no, I, I'm posting videos of like the players that I thought cheat though. And he's like, no, no, you should really post videos. He's like, you have like 15,000 views and I think I had like 70 subscribers at the time. He's like, no, no, you actually have 70. I was like, I do. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, I've been commenting under all your videos. But the funny, the, I feel so bad about this. <laughs> the funny part is I didn't, I didn't uh, read any of the comments because I was just uploading and like everyone there were so many comments under my, some of my videos were like can you please post gameplay of this and i didn't even realize and then i started posting and that's kind of how my channel grew and then i started running different builds and stuff but there's a lot of counters to top uh players are blind or they think the only way to defeat her is with five yeah that's true how that's true there's usually a counter you just haven't found it yet um so july are the new weapons decay um has it implied worth upgrading in my opinion i don't think so i know players will say about their new weapons they do a lot of damage at 600 meter range and i'm like yeah 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 whatever <laughs> um you know what this i mean look how many look how many of those weapons i have in my current hangar i don't have a single one <laughs> so yeah x record is an app you used to make i think i used to what was the name? I think it was iShow or something. I can't remember. It was some age, like this app that I use. Developers should take more time to test everything before they add game. Um, I agree with that, Louise. I think um, taking more time. The only thing is from what I've heard, and this is not actually from Pixonic. I actually, I don't know if you guys know uh, Ben or Kitty WR. I don't think he does any more videos on like the game as you know real life stuff came up and he's been very busy studying in that um, but he he was the one that actually told me that his one friend who develops mobile games he is saying that they they've actually done studies with mobile games where they kind of have to release content regularly uh, in order to sustain the development of the game because he said one of the things with mobile games is generally those that play mobile games have very low um attention span so it's something that you know when you pick up a mobile game you're like kind of on the go you might be like maybe with your friends you know and some of them are like shopping and you're just waiting and you decide to play one or two games so it's more out of convenience but generally you don't sit down and actually play and because of that uh, to keep those players coming back for more you need more content so I think I think that's also the reason why the development in terms of content for mobile games in general tends to be like that. It's kind of funny because um, when I watch some of the YouTubers that cover like Fortnite, uh, if we do a comparison, some of them were complaining that there's not enough updates and they get updates every, I think it's every four months or something. I don't know how the season uh, season works, but I think it's every four months. Um, and they were saying like how there is nothing that's new and some of them like they quit because they don't see anything for four months. But this is the thing though too. We're talking about four months and this game's like every, I would say every month or so. So maybe every two months, but then I think even after two months, I think that might be too long. Yeah. It, yeah. You like the new module on the test server. I think it's gonna be interesting to see how that how that develops. I think we might start seeing players break away from the repair amp to use that. So they have like three different modules, which obviously would be good. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Yep, <laughs> Phoenix, you have a ADHD, so yes, attention. So you know what I mean, right? If you don't get an update after one month or so, Especially like for the players that do like pay for the game and they support it If there's nothing for them that's new, they're just gonna stop playing It's just the way that it is and if there's no money coming in, there's no money to develop the game Which 
which actually kind of has me a bit concerned right now with this game because if they sold it or you know they change in different publishing company or whatever they want to call it um, you know it might be the same thing you know is the game making enough money to support maybe that's why we're seeing so many bugs and things not being fixed so grinding mobile games isn't healthy I think mobile games in general will have a lot of content all I know is Halo, the difference between, there's a very big difference between PC and mobile games. You can't treat them the same. Like even, like even like matchmaking, you know, like players complain about the matchmaking on this game. Um, you should see some of the games I play in Fortnite where everyone has the same equipment. How bad some of the matchmaking, like last night where I was in a full squad, all of a sudden, before I had even touched ground, before I had even left the battle bus, three of my teammates had left so I'm now I'm now a solo player going up against squads of four which is even worse than being a random in this game going up against a squad because that's like one player versus six if we're talking about equivalent but there's new skins and dances every day which balances things yeah but uh, Hulk that's I think that's the reason why a lot also quit they didn't they didn't play Fortnite, they got bored. Because there's nothing new, there's just like updates. Like skins, that's it. Uh Shreyas, are you late for the crate opening? Yes, we kinda did that at the start. We're just doing a QA thing now. Pay to win. Uh you know how I'm gonna say answer that. Players with the whole pay to win content uh comment. Even with Fortnite, I could I could argue that it's pay to win too. Even though anyone can play it, but if you notice, a lot of the top players they all play on PC. PCs cost more than like Xbox and PlayStation, from what I know. So if they're paying playing on a PC and they have better connection, what is that? That's also pay to win, then no, because you're getting a bit of an edge. You think I need new squad mates? <laughs> Yeah, there's always going to be something. It doesn't matter which game I play. Players think I'm just defending Pixonic, man. I, I say the same thing about Fortnite. They don't pay me. Would be nice if they did, though. See first what happens before you buy some more. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with waiting, Phoenix. Like, whether it be this game, whether it be any other game, I wouldn't just jump into spending. Wait, rather wait. <laughs> Your crappy PC can barely run YouTube let alone games. Yeah, but you see what I mean? Like, okay, so let's just say Halo. This is a good example. Let's just say maybe maybe we didn't play. Maybe, maybe it's not Fortnite. Maybe it's like what other game came out recently that requires like high specs? Valorant or something. I don't know. I don't follow those games, but let's just say it's Valorant. So you're playing and you have low frames or like you getting lag and then you going up against some dude that has like state-of-the-art like gaming PC and you're getting whipped. Right? Everyone can play the game. Maybe maybe they even give away the game for free like download. The guy with the, the better PC and connection is still gonna beat you because well I mean is that not pay to win? It's the same thing. Someone, uh, Phoenix is saying pay to win even with a lot of money spent you don't win unless you play right it's hard Cool, put everyone's to win yeah everyone wants to win I mean I want to win too but I lose games I have a max out hanger I spin life is pay to win exactly oh we've got um <laughs> we've got deathless in the chat and getting some viewers from uh, Fortnite side. So, anyways, guys, that is going to be the stream. Um, I did say that also. Okay, one thing to the baby account. I'm gonna try to see if I can put out a video on the baby account, just like as an update. One thing that I I haven't actually opened up that account in. It's probably over a month now. I wanted to do the opening for the last uh, special delivery, like the event. 
but unfortunately my PC died, so I didn't do that. But I think if I log in, it's going to show me my prizes, if I'm not mistaken. So what I can do is I can maybe try to record that. Hopefully I can catch it. And then what I can do is I can show you some gameplay, which I had with um, another member of my channel. We did a duo squad thing. So uh, Gasp, if you're watching, hopefully you don't mind, but I can showcase some of those games. Uh, also, I might be bringing like the Vox, not necessarily a live streams, but some of uh, the games that we play together doing different themes. You guys can let me know what you think of that idea uh, because we're trying to organize that right now with our clan. And if that becomes a thing, then we can do that with, like, with different like clans and stuff. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I can record that too. Uh, ben, do I have a Fortnite channel? Yes, I do. Uh, let me just... Hold on, let me get that link. You can also search up Zoopy Loop, but... Um, hold on. Yo, is this gonna load up here? What's going on? Is YouTube lagging on me again? Okay. Let me let me get let me get the channel uh, address here. Why is that so long? Oh wait, that's not my channel name. Wait. Oh wait, it is. Let me just put this. I'll put it in a pinned comment. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm gonna be putting. I want to do more. Uh, like I want to do actual videos here. Um, what I plan on doing with the Fortnite channel is so a lot of those live streams. I mean, you can watch those. You can watch those live streams. But I'm gonna actually make them unlisted or delete them because I want to put out actual videos that was like more just casual. Um, but I want to kind of document my kind of journey playing that game. So I did save some of my older gameplay of it where I played like a noob like really bad. So I want to show that. Yeah, so I'm gonna be uh, showing that. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, jeez, who? Thank you, John, for gifting another membership. So who's a... Oh, Doom Dog is the lucky winner. So thank you so much, John and Doom. I hope you enjoy the membership. Also, make sure that you do join my Discord for the ones who were gifted today. And just, like, ping me. Okay, so I can add you to the VIP chat. Okay, so I think, um, I think I'm going to wrap things up now, guys. Uh, before I do... Thank you very much to Dark Warrior, to Lone, Smiley, Togi, Dominic Kind, Jack Goose, Frederick, and Hammer for helping to moderate today's live stream chat. Much appreciated. And if they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. And also, let's not forget Roger and also especially John for gifting so many uh, gifts here to my viewers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gifts and thank you again, John. Thank you, Dyes. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your donations, guys. Much appreciated. If they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. And also, thank you to you guys for dropping by and supporting my channel. And once again, if you haven't yet done so, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the live stream. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I do have a giveaway, as I said, for the Mars robot. The winners for that's going to be announced. I believe I said it was going to be under Wednesday's video. So that's going to be coming up uh, in a few days. And um, I think that should wrap up everything. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next live stream, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, guys.